This next guy is an entrepreneur turned comedian. Give it up for the very funny Louis Orocho, everybody. Come on. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. So, uh, so yeah, my, uh, my name is Louis. I come from a small town uh, located about 100 miles north of New York City called Polkwig. Uh, from there, I went to college up in Binghamton. Um, and then after graduation, I moved to Manhattan to make more money. Um, someone forgot to tell me how much more money I would need to make to afford this fucking place. I mean, seriously, I was so poor when I first came to Manhattan that my idea of a big night out was going to one of those dollar slice pizza joints, walking right up to the counter and saying, you know what? Make it pepperoni. Uh, so Pokeweg is one of those small towns where uh, you, it's custom to wave at everyone when you pass by them on the streets. New York City broke that habit real quick. Uh, <laughs> when I say broke, I mean I was actually going broke because all my money was going to fake Buddhist monks, saving the environment $30 a month at a time, five times over, and uh, about six blind homeless men. Yeah, it took me six to realize that uh, they were counting the money after I gave it to them every time. <laughs> that was odd. But uh, with that said, um, when I first moved to Manhattan, it was really difficult to, to date. Um, we didn't have any dating apps, no Tinder, no Bumble. Uh, so I had to meet girls old-fashioned way, actually talking to them. So, talking about dating apps, um, I uh, was out to dinner with one of my gay friends the other, uh, the other week. And uh, right after we ordered, he uh, said he had to excuse himself. He had to go on a grinder date. And I thought, wow, that's, that's rude, but whatever. He's a, <laughs> he's a little bit of a diva, and so whatever. I'll eat alone, no biggie. So uh, he, went, he went to the bathroom, and uh, all of a sudden, he's, he's back before dinner came. And I'm like, I'm like wait, what happened? Like, I, did he cancel? He's like, no, the date's over. <laughs> I'm like, wait. What, like, I'm intrigued. I'm like, what? Like, wait, don't you guys have like a three date rule or something? He goes, three dates? He's like, that's a prerequisite before date number one. I was like, wow, I'm jealous. I wish I was gay. But then I started to think about the first sexual experience I had with my wife. And, <laughs> and I thought that if my performance in those two minutes, or, sorry, sorry. Sorry. If my performance in those 60 seconds decided whether or not I went on date number one, yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick to the three date rule, give myself a chance. So one of the best decisions I've ever made was choosing to settle down and marry my wife. Yeah. yeah. By choosing, I mean she told me if I didn't propose that she would not only leave me, but she'd burn my house to the ground. But with that said, we've been married for two blissful years. Yeah, yeah. By blissful, I mean I've been holding on for dear life. Marriage is freaking tough, guys. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my wife. We're best friends. But that 5'5", five, 120-pound five, blonde girl from the mean streets of Long Island scares the living shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have heard from a very credible source that the, the Mexican street gang MS-13 they're pretty prevalent in those parts. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's where she gets her training. <laughs> so uh, with that said, uh, my wife and I, we were, um, oh, sorry, before I get into that, uh, we, uh, uh, my buddy, after I was here about six months, my buddy came to, to visit me. And uh, we're walking down the streets and he uh, started to pull out a dollar to give to a homeless man approaching us. And I quickly grabbed it out of his hand, I put it in my pocket and I said, don't give him any money, all he wants to do is buy crack. And he, he looked at me, he was disgusted. He's like, how did New York City turn you into such a jerk in such a small amount of time? See, the truth was that I just read a BuzzFeed article that told me that panhandlers in New York City make $200 a day. And I wasn't about to admit to my buddy that this guy with no shoes and a ripped up shirt was making more money than me. So the fact of the matter is I needed a dollar more than that guy. So I ended up moving on. But, uh, but anyway, uh, my wife and I were reading uh, the other day uh, in bed, or three days ago approximately, that uh, uh, strong couples, they know, never go to bed angry. So with that said, I haven't been to sleep in the past 72 hours, so whoever, whoever wrote that could suck a dick, and that's basically it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Lewis and Walsh, everybody, come on!